I'm in my new hostel now and this is in Gothenburg and it's a super long day so I'm not really in the mood to chat so much it was a very tiring journey of like four hours but it was quite nice I met a few cute girls who were like telling me about their life in Norway it was quite fun and here is a nice place as well it's not bad at all I just have one roommate but generally it's super chill and quiet and the city I have not seen so much I've just been a bit tired since I came here so I just ate it was a very horrible burger <laughs> and I'm just going to bed and I think I will just tomorrow start fresh be excited but today I'm dead I think this is a bit of the downside of like solo travel because there are times when you just feel kind of like tired and alone and I think bored and like the effort to plan things is not there and this is my mood right now but I think good sleep and good food will fix this so tomorrow morning I'm ready to start fresh but it's only been my second day now here in the solo travel and I think the starting is a bit harder to ease into this alone lifestyle but I hope it gets easier as I keep continuing and there will be highs as well today is not the highest at this point <laughs> morning was awesome but at this point I'm just like really done and I think it's gonna be nice and away from Vienna because now I really miss Vienna and when I go back I'll be so happy to be in my own bed in my own city in my own workplace again so it's kind of nice to be away that I can miss it a bit more <laughs> Good morning, new day, new me. I'm already feeling a lot better. I slept really well and now I'm excited to go to the city and see what's new. Um, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed because I did not see anything so far so I don't know what to expect or where to go. But I have my data now because I'm in EU and I get to just pick up places as I feel on the go. And I also got like a Gothenburg guide.
how crazy this entire road only for cycling mad so this is the lipstick tower that has apparently a very great view from the top and of course it is uh, closed for viewing so you didn't get to see it but it looks cool So scratch all that I said about Sweden before because I love this place <laughs> it took only a few meals to understand how freaking cool this area is like the food here is insane I think it's my new favorite cuisine now because they had the best fish the most amazing meatballs and I'm in love it's so good and I think I was just initially not enjoying it because I was comparing it to like Oslo and hoping to have a magical feel but I think this place is so much different it's way more like comfort it's more chill it's more like not chaotic but just very calm and I just love everything about it so far like it's just insane just look at this view pretty awesome and very cool Welcome back to my love-hate relationship with Gothenburg. So, I mean, yeah, previously I was like, I love this place again. I love the comfort, love how it is like just calm and chill. And now um, <laughs> I came to this hiking spot where I thought I'd have a beautiful view of the city. And of course, as me being me, I expected again, like a very all slow view of the whole city and you know how it would look and just the whole spectacular, clear view of everything and I do all this hike for literally an hour to find out the view is just not living up to what it should have been so mm, yeah a bit disappointing because I put so much effort into this walking it was a really long long walk not an hour it was at least two hours and I have two hours back now so not a big fan of the view so I think whatever I expect from this place always turns out badly but whenever I don't expect anything and I'm expecting like the lowest is when I'm surprised so that is the key expect the unexpected or don't expect anything <laughs> yes that is the key <laughs> so yeah 50 50 on how I feel so far like I enjoy the food and I enjoy the comfort but I just can't expect it to be as like uh I don't know I guess as as easy or luxurious as other places but it has its own charm somehow <laughs> It's so pretty and empty. 
I really like it. My time in Sweden has gone by really fast, I feel. <laughs> Compared to the first day I came here and I was like, I don't want to be here. But it's been really nice. And it was, I think, perfect for two days because this place has everything you want to see and hike and eat in two days. So it was very nice.